I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hello, my name is Remy, and today on Cook Time, we're gonna prep and cook one of my favorite dishes called radish and cucumber bruschetta. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on cook time with Remy is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before cooking any food. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're making radish and cucumber bruschetta. In this dish, I'm featuring radishes. I know it's a hard sell, but trust me, you're going to love them. Now the next thing we need to do is get our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. So here's my pan, my spoon, and my brush. We'll also need to have the ingredients used to make this yummy dish. So we'll need to have parsley, cucumber, radishes of course, celery, french bread, lemon juice, dill, garlic, olive oil, and of course, some salt and pepper. Did you know that some of the most common varieties of radishes include Sicily Giant, Plum Purple, French Breakfast, and even Bunny Tail? That's pretty rad. Ish. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is saute our radishes. So we have our olive oil. Put that in there. Get a little bit in there. Next we have our garlic, adds a nice little flavoring to it. Of course, our radishes. And actually, did you know that, let me turn this out a little bit. Actually, in ancient Greece, people used to uh, present replicas of radishes to honor the god Apollo. Nice little Greek mythology sort of fact there. So I'll put this all up there. I'm gonna let that saute for a while. Also, Another interesting fact about radishes is that in the classic novel, Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara, after eating a radish, said, as God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again. So that means she really liked the radishes. That's really cool too, actually, because radishes are full of a ton of healthy stuff, like phytonutrients, fiber, and a ton of vitamins and minerals. Okay, let's see, these radishes have been sauteing for a little bit, so. I think it's time to add our cucumbers in there. Nice little refreshing. I'm gonna let those saute a little bit. And then let's get some salt and pepper. While that's sauteing, we're gonna let this sit there for a little, turn it down, turn it hot. I'm gonna go over here to my French bread. I'm going to put my bread onto my baking sheet here. I'm going to make sure these all get pretty flat. Oops, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to mix our lemon juice with our olive oil. And then we're gonna put this on our bread. It's really nice and golden whenever it's finished. Oh, I'll try to get this. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our parsley. Try to get some, oops, not that. Try to get some on each little bread baguette slice. Just a little, and adds a really nice freshness, even that, though it's going to be broiled. <laughs> and also one of the things I really love about adding the lemon juice with the olive oil is that it's crispy, but it also adds a really nice citrus I'm gonna go check up on my radishes over here real quick. Give it a quick stir. Nice saute. A little bit longer with the cucumbers in there. And then we're gonna probably put this in the oven to boil. But remember, you should always have adult supervision whenever you use any kind of hot appliance like the stove or the oven. So now I'm gonna go in the oven. Let's put my bread in there. going to put it on boil. Let's see how this is doing. Sauteing pretty well. And then 
Once the slices of bread are finished, we can go ahead and start plating. Well, this smells amazing. It looks like it's about done, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Also, I had an adult take my crostinis out of the oven, so they're all nice and toasty there with the parsley on them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of these. Put them on here, one more. Ah, oh, chase you down. Oops, there you go. And then we're gonna serve it up with our radishes and cucumbers. There we go. Oopsies. Run away. Run away. <laughs> and to finish it off, we're going to garnish with our dill. Oops, let's get everything in there. There we go. Looks like a forest. Okay, and there you have it. Your radish and cucumber bruschetta. When you're cooking, it's always very important to make sure your ingredients measurements are right. Your ingredients should also be as fresh as possible. Your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always include all five food groups whenever making each meal. Cooking is fun and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Mmm. This dish is really good. I love how whenever you saute the radishes, they turn a bit sweeter. And also the combination of the lemon bread, just amazing. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including the 16 million children at risk of hunger in the US. Join me, Sodexo, and our partner, Share Our Strength, to help raise awareness about the one in five kids at risk of hunger by joining the movement of Generation No Kid Hungry. Thank you for hanging out with me on Cook Time Drummy. See you next time when we'll be making lemony rice with raisins. Yay, hey guess what? This time I'm doing better because I'm actually looking at it. I'm not looking at the thermometer. Thermometer.